Hello and welcome to the Prom 9. You may have noticed that that machine that normally sits there, you can see my hand in the mirror, is gone. Yeah, I had a lot of... Yeah, that one's completely dead. I have yet to salvage everything off its hard drive, got the work off, because we've been bogged out of work and that hasn't helped. So yeah, the vids still need to come off. And in retro game of VX style, a nice cup of tea. Lovely. So yeah. Now about that Q&A thing I did. A week later and we have some questions. Although not quite as many as I wanted. But thanks to all who participated. So we'll start from top down because it's easiest. And we we'll start with Mad Cap Operator. No spaces, so it's hard to make out, but still. So what consoles do I own or should I say <coughs> just get that out? Or should I say will you do a tour of your room? I'll answer the first question. The second question first. Yes, there will be a tour of my room with its consoles and computers. And what consoles do I own? We'll start with the first one, the Game Boy Original. Four Game Boy Colors. Game Boy Advanced. Then we've got N64, PS1, PS2, Xbox 360, PSP. Yeah, I have quite a few, but not as many as a lot of the other collectors out there. To be honest, I don't really collect the consoles themselves, I just... They're either ones we've had from the past, or like the Game Boy Colours. That I'll take mach things if they're being given away or sold dirt cheap. But the only real console I really, really would like would be a Sega Mega Drive. I got the plow on it when I, when I was a kid and they're absolutely brilliant. I'd love one. I haven't got round to getting one, although with eBay and various retro computer stores, well not computer stores, but more games based stores, they do that kind of stuff. I'm more of a computer collector, to be honest. And with a recent acquisition of Stan Heavy, this beastie, the Atari ST, well, that's good. So we'll pop that in and hope it doesn't slide out to make a huge loud bang on the floor and wake the entire house up. So, yeah, I'm more of a computer collector, but. I do happily take consoles if they're going. I have two 360s at the moment, although one is broken, but technically the other 360 isn't mine and I need to return it back. I can't fix it. They might let me keep it for parts. I don't know. Interesting note. My camera seemed to think that a combination of a cup of tea, PP700 and TV remote was a human face. Ah, the joy of all terror facial recognition. Now down to the next question by Aaron Donald. No, that's just saying one week ago. Have you seen any of the Talking Classics videos by Keith Aspersey? I'm hopeless at reading names. If so, which is your favourite? No, but when that question went down, I decided to investigate. And it's brilliant seeing someone with a, who has a speech impediment doing so well on YouTube. It's brilliant. And he adds his own little comedy to it. So definitely worth checking out that channel. I had a little look because I'd never heard of it. But it's brilliant to see that has its own little comedy to it and that 
So yeah, I've only seen one video so far, so that would have to be my favourite, and I can't even remember what the hell it's called. And I probably wouldn't find in the YouTube history because I haven't watched a lot of YouTube. Well, I say I haven't watched a lot of YouTube. I've watched a lot of YouTube. I'm getting my words mixed up. It happens. <coughs> and then we have the Lizard King, one of the US vi viewers, who was very good and put three questions down. And so we have, so we start from once again as usual. And okay, well, how about these? These are what a few of. Oh God, now I can't bloody read. <laughs> okay, well, how about these? What are the few or as many video games that are your favourite to play ever? First of all. Anything in the Half-Life series. I love the Half-Life games. All of them are absolutely brilliant and top, top, top favourites. Although rivaling them now is Portal 2. And Portal once again goes into... Portal, the original one, goes into the top favourites as well. Portal 2 goes up with the Half-Life 1, 2, the episodes. And then you've got things like the Fallout 3 in New Vegas, um, what else, I'm just looking over at my games, um, most favourite to play ever, um, I don't have a huge list of top, top, top favourite games, but they're the major ones that I replay a lot through, although, yeah, I've replayed through Portal 2 quite a lot, more so in a short amount of time than I have any other game. So yeah, anything Half-Life, Portals, especially Portal 2, because what they did in Portal was made, Portal 2 is made, Portal, a great game, better. It's brilliant. I have to do a review of it, I need to do a review of Left 4 Dead 2, because that's absolutely brilliant. And then you've got the Fallout series, which mix first person with role playing it works so nicely damn shame with all the glitches though next question is what are you going to do with the Nixie vac tubes besides try to take over the earth of course yes taking over the earth is a plan I've had for a long time but it hasn't gone to much success yet so the Nixie tubes I want to make a clock or something that'd be quite cool maybe try and make a watch although I'm not very good at the miniaturised engineering getting the things working is hard enough the plan is though to make a nice little geek style watch that will definitely draw some eyes and probably ending up doing the oscilloscope through town thing creeping everybody out which would be funny and last question how much wood could wood oh yeah that's a little tongue twister he did as a bit of a joke <laughs> no just kidding but out of all the game types what would be your favourite style and then there's a list FPS RPG action adventure dance revolution <laughs> lol jokes <laughs> nah not dance revolution not keen on the dancing games. <laughs> Ones I love are first person sort of shooters. I love the way Fallout combines the role play but Fallout is the only role play games I've ever played so yeah you've got a bit of role play in there if you get it. Well not role play, or is it role play? No it's RPG. Oh god. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah I'm trying to clear explain everything clearly but I'm hopeless at it. Uh, maybe there's hope. Maybe there's hope. Um, there are some excellent third person games like Tomb Raiders and Dead Space. Love them. And things like that but top 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 has to be the good old first person shooters. I love the first, first person view is all my style. Racing games I'm not very good at unless it's something like Mario or Crash Kart. And I think the Mario Kart's the favourite over the Crash Karts. I haven't done Sonic Karts and that but it's 
pretty much going to be the same thing. I like the good old sort of platformers from, you get the good old 2D platformers like Mario and that that everyone knows on the Game Boy. And I did once upon a time, I think it was a pirate copy of a Mario platformer on the PC for the SNES, it was like three levels, bloody hard though. When the original hard drive crashed though, that was lost. Shame really. And you get also Crash Bandicoot, which was like one of the first platformers to be put into 3D world, where instead of all sprite based, it was all model, models and polygons and brushes. If you do any level production, I do Half-Life level production, so I'm pretty clued up on how they do the games, although not the programming side, just the visual game design, entry implementation and that. I will do a run through, but I don't think it'll be really a review of my own custom Half-Life levels because, well, to be honest, they'd be too biased. They're more like a show-through of what I've done. <laughs> yeah, the memory card filled up, and I was on about Half-Life. Um, yeah, I was talking about when I was clued up about game production. And that was on the question of your favourite type of game as well. Style, RPG and that. So yeah. The other thing I have that I didn't mean, well used to have, was a 1001 cheap, like, toy game thing, which was pretty crap. Eventually it just disintegrated and there was nothing useful to salvage from it. That was brought purely for school. God, how the Game Boys got me through school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't know what I'd have done with Nintendo and brought out the Game Boy. PE would have been... Well, I've had no salvation from PE. Or Sports Day. So, yeah. On the question of consoles, I suppose... Uh I could include my computers, but I've got a lot of computers. I've, but I'll think just for the sake of it, because I want to I'll include the computers, although I will do a tour of the room at some point. I don't think I'll make it quite so long. So I've got 95 desktop compact, compacto, or com compact, in the garage, which is like monitor, whole thing combo, except for the keyboard and mouse. They're both salvaged. Um, I've got the dead top down there, which was the one that I was using for all the video production and that. And there's a no machine splitting the task between the two. That's completely buggered now. Hard drive sitting there. Machines down there. Um, I've got obviously this beast which is my first proper computer. I've also got um, some dead tops in the garage, a Dell Toshiba T2200SX and a, another Dell Latitude CPI, if I've got the model name correct. That is all the ones in the garage. I've also got um, 95 Toshiba laptop, NEC 95, which the screen has totaled itself on. Sony Veo, which was my brother's old machine, and my oscilloscopes there, and the RM MB300, which is the rarest machine I own, in fact. Because it's such a rare machine, and there's actually only one site actually have any information about it on the internet, although my stuff is this. this. No mention of them on the internet, and nothing on them on eBay either. This is rare. Brilliant little machine though. I think it 
runs on Windows 3.1, but it's got a hard drive instead, so I don't really know for sure. I have to hack in my own power supply. It didn't come with it, sadly. 1992 or something, so a year younger than me. keyboard in the cupboard. Always handy. Especially if you're a computer geek like me. I'm not sure what type of geek I am really. I'm just a geek and proud of it. So yeah, I... Oh wait, I haven't covered everything in the computers. I've forgotten the most important. The 1980s. Casso PB 700, which I believe you can see there. And it's also my intro vid, the one that goes... that I type hello YouTube into. Acon Electron, which is down there, um, C64, which is here, and the Atari ST. I haven't done a countdown, I'm not even going to do a countdown of the live to dead, because I've got a larger dead ratio, I reckon. The 80s computers could outsway that ratio, though. Anyway, before I bore you to death with my forever rambling, <sighs> I've pretty much answered the Q&A and said everything I need to say, but... So... I'm going to shut up now. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Oh yeah, if you want any... Yeah, I keep doing that. Thanks for watching. And then, carry on. Yeah. If you want... If you have any questions or anything in particular, feel free to ask. And I'll get this uploaded as soonish as possible when I can. So yeah. If you have any things that you want to see in particular in videos, just pop a line down if I have it in games or something or machine, I'll be happy to do it. I'm always on the hunt for retro computers though. Although I have kind of run out of room, but... I think there's a space above the Atari for one more. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.